tomorrow is to describe yourself in three words. Does anyone have any questions before we start? Yes, Brittany. Can we draw a view on the bracket? Perfect. That's a great idea. So if you're more comfortable in drawing things, go ahead and draw things and describe yourself. And if you're more comfortable in writing, go ahead and write. So I'll be looking to see if you have your pen. All right. So go ahead and take some time right now to share with your partner what you guys talked about, and we'll come together in a few minutes. All right, so Veronica, what did Brittany share about herself to you? Uh, she put like a little emoji, and that's like just like laughing and like trying to stay silent. So can you explain what emojis are real quick to the class? Emojis are like like little like faces that you can put when you're texting okay. like on an iPhone. So they're like different emotions for everything. Mm -hmm. So what did Brittany put? She put like this one. It's kind of like laughing, but like trying to stay silent because it's like hysterical. So she's like funny. I agree with that. She's also really funny. Yeah, and then she's also helpful and she's determined. Good job. All right, great. So thank you guys for sharing. And now we're going to go on to our objective today, our lesson. So can we have you guys all muted? So let's begin. All, all students, students will be able to identify two to five, five character traits in lemonade snickets using supportive evidence in the text. All right, perfect. So everyone knows that we've been reading lemonade snicket. And last class, we were talking about summarizing and understanding the text. Now moving on, we're going to learn to understand the characters. So just like we described ourselves today we do now, it's just like identifying, identifying character traits. So character traits, a character is a what? Does anyone know? Brittany. It's just someone that's in the story. Okay, so someone. Is it a person or a thing? It's a person, Perfect. most of the time. Okay, and does anyone know what traits are? All right, I'll share that first right now. So traits are different things about you. And that can be actions, habits, thoughts, ideas. But we all know not every action and not every thought is something positive, so they can also be negative. So I want you guys to make sure that you write this in your notes. So traits are actions, habits, thoughts, and ideas. anyone have any questions before we move on? All right, I just also wanted to note one thing, that in order to define a character, you have to know that this person does it repeatedly. So just like Veronica shared Brittany's funny, we know that she's funny because she's always making us laugh, like on a day-to-day -day basis, or that you know that this is in her own character. So now we're gonna go move on into Lemme Snicket, and we're gonna talk about what we can find the character traits are for the main characters. I'm gonna give an example, so if we all turn to page 15 on our text, we have Cat Olaf, and he's one of the main characters. We see some evidence saying that he likes to lock the kids into the room and he makes them do chores. So I made sure that he, in his character trait, that he's a very rude and scary person. So now I want you guys to go into the text and pick out one of your very favorite characters. Veronica, I know you mentioned that you like Violet, is that true? And Brittany? I'll do Claw. Perfect, so there are two siblings. I want you guys to go into the text and pick out some traits that they have using evidence. So sentences, quotes, or anything, and we'll come back. All right, Brittany, what's about you? Um, on page 15, it says that Claw loves to read, so mm -hmm. I wrote that he's very studious. And also on page 16, he says he's very helpful because he helps his sister that one time, so I also wrote that he didn't do that great. That's good, perfect. So I just wanna make sure that you guys understand what we learned today. So can anyone summarize the main thing that we learned about identifying character traits? All right, go ahead, we'll share together. They can be good or bad. Okay, great. Brittany. And that they have to happen repeatedly to be someone's character. Perfect, so you guys made sure that you wrote the key things, that they have actions, habits, thoughts, and ideas that they do repeatedly. Now, so in order for you guys to remember this and so that we can move on into our next lesson tomorrow and the rest of the week, I made a chant for you guys to remember. So it's who they are, how they act, actions, habits, and thoughts. Happy or mad, angry or sad, remember this, then you won't go bad. Does everyone understand? We'll do this together a couple times. Already, ready? And go. Who they are, how they act, actions, habits, and thoughts. 